Hello everyone. I'm just doing this practice trying to improve my cue ball control. Trying to get it out of the sometimes period. So at the beginning of doing this, I'm just looking at making a ball and having the cue ball travel in the path towards another ball. So I'm hoping that, that I'll go into the rail, come back towards the eight ball. And the path was good. In the beginning, I'm just trying to get the path correct and I don't care about the speed. So this shot, take the yellow in the side, run into the red. Trying to hit the ball, the second ball, as full as possible. And you can play racks and racks of this, or you can start taking on more difficult shots. Got a wall in the way for that shot. We'll take this red into the corner, bounce off the rail, come onto this red. And the more that you play it, the attempt would be to come up and either sit right on the ball or get within one ball of it is my aim at this point. Not seeing a really nice shot here. So we'll try and bank the yellow across and draw back for this red. Just trying to follow the path. Have a plan where you think it's going to go before you start and see if your plan is correct. I'm going to take this red into the side. Should have my cue ball going up and this is a hard one to control speed but I hope that I can get it to stop in time. If I had hit more of this ball, it would have taken more speed away. I also would have traveled further away from this ball. Start off with shots that you're pretty comfortable with, and then just increase doing more difficult shots. So I'm taking the red into the corner, off the rail, coming back for this red. little bit soft on that one. Want to take this one nice and soft. I'm going to not be going straight into the eight. I'll be coming on to this side. short still just barely within a ball and then try doing stuff with spin but I think that I can spin off the rail come back into the eight We've already done one draw shot, but we'll try another. One thing that I'll do with the draw shot is from the cue ball to the, my shot line is about that much angle. 
three more, or sorry, two more times. So three times that angle is going to be about where you're going to draw back from. So I'll be coming close to that yellow ball. And with a ball that close to the pocket, a lot depends on where you cheat the pocket. Try and go straight across back to this red. That's a shot that I struggle with the speed control all the time. So I would definitely concentrate on that shot a lot. Now I'm hooked. So there's no sense in doing anything other than get yourself in a better position. Going to take that yellow in the side. I think that's going to take me to the end rail in about this diamond. So if I can control some spin, it should come back with spin to come to that yellow. A little bit too hard of a bump on it. Eight in the side. Just a rolling cue ball is going to take me forward. I'd like to come back for this red. So a little bit of stun. And that was like a full table too hard. I needed a kill shot on that. So I had longer shots, taking this yellow to the corner. I'm hoping that I can come around two rails out of that corner, come up for the red, or sorry, this yellow. So the track line was pretty close, quite a bit short. Now I'll take that red, it's going to take me into the end rail, and then I'm going to put a lot of left spin, trying to get that. And just con continue doing this, pull out another 15 balls. At the beginning, you're just going to start with easy, easy shots, just trying to get the direction correct. And then you'll get into more difficult stuff.